Here's all the brand new comic book series debuting in stores for the week of October 5th, 2016. This is a massive week, possibly the biggest week of the entire year. We got 33 books we're going to feature, all new series and potential key issues. Like Shipwreck, number one is the latest from Aftershock Comics. From writer Warren Ellis, there's a 1 in 10 ratio variant on this one. Hillbilly number one, there is a second printing out of number one and number two this week from writer Eric Powell, and these are sold out in advance release at Diamond. Blade Bunny is back with a new volume, a new number one issue from writer Eric Kimball over at Antarctic Press, very small print run. Archie meets the Ramones, this is a one shot comic, there's four different covers from Archie Comics, this should be a popular one for long term, and they haven't massively overprinted this, so this one should sell out eventually. Black Mask gives us a new ongoing series called Black, and number one, it's got a lot of buzz for it, and this is sold out in advance of release. Big Trouble Little China Escape from New York, and number one is an interesting tie-in to these uh, 80s popular movies, and it's a new series from writer Greg Pak over at Boom Studios. Batman number eight, Batman is supposed to get a brand new costume in this issue, so this could potentially be a long-term pick. And it's from writer Tom King over at DC Comics. And DC has a huge week. They launch a whole bunch of new interesting miniseries, including Dead Man, Dark Mansion of Forbidden Love. Ties in the classic 60s character with the cool 70s horror series from writer Sarah Vaughn. DC also gives us Hawkman and Adam Strange out of time, but they have decided to rename this miniseries The Death of Hawkman. Number one is out this week from writer Mark Andreco, and this one could be a surprise hit. He-Man Thundercats ties these two popular titles together at DC, and this miniseries is sold out in advance of release. This could be the hot book of the week. Midnighter and Apollo team up in this miniseries from writer Steve Orlando. And Shade the Changing Girl is a new ongoing series, also at DC, and this one is sold out in advance of release at Diamond. Army of Darkness and Xena Forever in a Day, two more popular uh, licensed titles teaming up, so this could be a surprise hit. Uh, over at Dynamite Entertainment, a bunch of variant covers. They also give us a new Betty Boop ongoing series, and the regular cover has a Howard Chaikin cover. Homies debuts, tying into the 90s show, and this has got a bunch of variant covers, could be a surprise hit as well. And Dynamite also gives us Intertwined, which is a new series from writer Fabrice Sapolsky. Over at Image, they've got a massive week. Cannibal number one is a new ongoing series debuting. It is sold out in advance of release. Green Valley is a new miniseries from writer Max Landis. Moonshine has two regular covers. Cover B is by the legendary Frank Miller, and both cover A and B are sold out in advance of release at Diamond. And Romulus is a new ongoing series from artist Nelson Blake at Image, and this one is sold out in advance of release. So expect a lot of second printings. Image has now gone back to its original policy of not overprinting comics, so all their new series are selling out quickly, and we're back to having hot Image titles again. And Spawn 266 is a surprise crossover between Spawn and Savage Dragon. At the last minute, they decided to release four different covers. So there is a cover A, B, C, and D. And D, I expect to be a good long-term pick. It is a black and white Todd McFarlane original cover. Most retailers didn't even know about it. Could be a surprise hit. And Walking Dead 159, big rumors this week that a major character dies in this issue. It's not been confirmed yet, but if so, this is going to be a big book, and the regular cover is already sold out in advance of release. There is also a second cover. Over at Marvel, Now Cage, number one, is a new one going, no, actually, I think it's a miniseries. Um, it ties into the new Luke Cage TV show, so this could be a hit. Lots of variant covers. The big launch for Marvel this week is Champions number one. There are so many variant covers that there's even a 1 in 1,000 ratio variant from Mike Hawthorne featuring Deadpool on the cover. This could be a possible long-term pick. It's going to be hard to find. Print run is going to be minuscule. Probably no more than 20 copies printed, and we actually ordered one of them. Deadpool Back in Black is a new mini series. Includes a 1 in 100 and a 1 in 50, both Rob Liefeld ratio variants. And here's the cool 1 in 100 one. These are going to be big long term picks. Death of X is a new mini series that ties into the Inhumans battling the X Men. 
bunch of variant covers for this one. Disney had a big hit this year with Haunted Mansion, so they're back with Enchanted Tiki Room. There's five different covers, including a rare one in 50 ratio variant cover. Very few stars are going to have ordered that one. So this fun all ages book could be a big hit. Now Jessica Jones also debuts as a new ongoing series, bunch of variant covers. Here is the rarest one, a 1 in 25 ratio variant. Over at Oni Press, they give us Angel City, a couple different regular covers for this one from Janet Harvey. Girion is the latest new ongoing series from hot publisher Scout Comics. Writer and artist Tom Lintern. This is sold out in advance of release. Lots of pre-buzz and copies already selling above cover before it's even released. And they also give us Hench Girl number 11 this week. And Once Our Land number 1, there is a second printing from writer and artist Peter Rick. Titan Comics gives us Hard Case Crime Trigger Man number 1. Bunch of variant covers for this one. And finally, Zenoscope Entertainment gives us a new Grim Fairy Tales miniseries called Genesis Heroes Reborn. Bunch of sexy variant covers for this one. Wow, what a week. Tons of cool books. A lot of these already heating up and a lot of these guaranteed to be hot books in the future. You can get these all from us at hawkdiscomics.com. Check out my weekly market reports on what's to buy in advance, what's heating up, what's selling out, print runs, etc. Thanks for watching.